Hey guys, this is the Mod Through Six here, and welcoming you guys back to some Silent Hill 2. In the last episode, we collected the blue gem, and we also collected the chainsaw, a couple health items, and we also got our radio. In this episode, I guess we're gonna progress, and uh, we all, oh yeah, we also met our first monster. Um, I'm gonna call him Smog, because that's what I usually remember them as from the Silent Hill movies. Yeah, I just realized, like, every difficulty in this game is different. Like, I couldn't remember, like, how the game played out. So I just kind of, kind of was trying to remember here. Um, this is a survival horror game, so the best bet is just to run from everything. Well, I mean, if something is in your way, I mean, run from it. I guess I'll get out, like, two or three episodes out today of this, and then continuation of Dead Rising 2 off the record. I got another health drink. These are, like, your lowest level healing items, if you guys didn't know. I know this game's been out since 2001, but just in case there's some newbies out there. Alright, you'll find a mysterious body over here that kind of looks like James. Yeah, weird, right? Body has the apartment gate key. Um. Oh, jeez. That scared me. Basically, we want to head over to Woodside Apartments. Which is, like, right over here. So if you press Y, or triangle, or whatever, whatever console you're playing on, you can bring up the map of the game. And this basically shows you the entire area. And, um... Yeah. So we need to head to Woodside. Pretty sure if you go down here, you will find it. And, yeah. Pretty sure there's some stuff over here, like maybe health drink stuff. Oh, no, there's a first aid kit, though. That's better. It's better than a health drink. Oh, I think. Right here? Pistol bullets. Or handgun bullets, whatever you want to call them. I'll call them pistol bullets. Because, well, yeah. That's kind of how I want to call them. Whoa. Lag. A single player game. Yeah, seriously. Nope, nope, look. Ow, ow, run. Okay, I did not mean to attack him. I'm sorry! We're getting lag. What is going on here? It might be because of the storm going on outside, so I don't know. If you guys see some lag, I apologize for that. But, without further ado, let's continue. That door over there is locked, if I do you remember. Yes, I do remember. Alright, so we gotta go to the second floor. We gotta go find our flashlight. Every sound in the game has to have a flashlight. It's locked, of course. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of things locked in this game, so... The lock is broken, I should say. No need to go to the left yet. Just yet. Oh god. The smog, okay. This door was open. My advice to new players in Silent Hill games is just to basically check every room. Oh god, the mannequin. Um, no healing right Let's get out here. Check every room, just like try and investigate everything. Yeah, you know, exploration at its finest. Okay, I do believe there's some items in here. There's a smog. You ow. Okay, we really should not be fighting with this. This is like why you don't fight things. On normal. We got him down. Uh, I don't think 
just only hang out the walls in this apartment. God, creepy. Lost well, a mannequin. Oh no. Okay, yeah, we're getting out of here. <laughs> I think that's all we need up here, or up on this floor at least. Let's head to the third floor. Down this hall. Oh god. Sorry, these controls are like PlayStation 2, so they're not the best. You know, hold extra run, and you know. Hold the deal. PlayStation 2 controls was the whole square run of this game. And oh wait, I need a cutscene to go. If I stretch my arm out, can I pick this key up? Well James, you'll find out a big surprise. James just go grabs it and whoa. Hey wait! Damn it! Alright, so the key is on the other side. That's not a good sign. But I think we can get some stuff on this floor. Mm. Yeah, we can get our handgun or a pistol. Okay. If I remember. Nothing else on this floor. So we can go. So we have to head back to the second floor. We never check this room right here. I think there's nothing in here. But there is something we have to do later in that room. Don't be fooled, it's not that way, it's actually this way. What so we want to do is we want to start running down this hall. And that's Pyramid Head, you guys. So, I might want to turn around and head into this door. here, it's 202, but then there's uh, this guy sitting here, it's all dead, it's like, oh no. There's literally nothing else in this room that we need to use right now, at this moment. Wait, how many healing items have we got? We've got four health drinks and two, two med packs, that's, that's decent for the beginning of the game. Okay, now we need to head to 202. Okay. I'll check the map. Oh, we forgot to... We seriously forgot to... Ah, I'm a nub. I'm a nub scrub. I seriously forgot to pick up a map of this area. Let's go do that real quick. Jeez. I was so... caught up and I just wanted to pick up stuff. I hope you guys have been enjoying our Geek Gaming channel. It's our new channel that we started like a year ago. I never really posted any videos on it till now. And uh, this year, so. Hopefully, we can hit. We've hit 20 subscribers in a good month. A good in a couple months. So, yeah. I hope you guys have liked our channel. We will be bringing new stuff that you've never seen before. Well, probably, but. You know. 202 was behind us. Wow, good job. Good, good job, Kamani. Jesus. Alright, there. Now we can get inside this area. Uh, 
Um, in here, I believe, is some stuff. Like more stuff. You should actually get stuff. There's all this green stuff on the wall. And then there's a hole. Yeah, every Silent Hill game has to have a hole inside of it. You can reach your hand in and do shove it in. Yeah. Fun. Fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Huh? down this hall. Yeah, watch for this small here. Never really play this game much on normal difficulty, so I don't know how much damage we're going to be taking. And, uh... Alright, here's the clock. Now, when you press A on it, you can't really do much with it. The clock stopped at 12 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked. I cannot touch the needles of the clock like this. <clears throat> so, with that clock key you got, you go into your inventory, you go to the clock key, and you go to use. I use the clock key. So James will open the cabinet where the clock is in. It's in, and then you can mess around with it. The time you need to set this to... Wow. We had a burp episode. Is fun. Yeah. Right there. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just kind of paying attention to something else. And, uh, yeah, you can basically come over here now and, uh, push the clock. Kind of weird, but, you know, it's sound hell okay. They're, they're supposed to be weird. Alright, we have a save point. I mean, we have a health drink. So guys, I'm going to be ending this episode here, and probably our first session of this game. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I will be finishing this game. I will not be putting it off like I usually did on my other walkthroughs on my other channel. Like Left 4 Dead 1, Resident Evil 4, Sound of Downpour. Oh my god, it was terrible. Um, and uh, today, if CS gets back on, we will be continuing our... We will definitely be continuing our Dead Rising 2 off the record walkthrough. So, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Potato.